You wanna tell me what this is all about? Chili dogs. Oh no, 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 no. What were you thinking? <laughs> what crossed your mind to make this trailer? To make a movie this awful? Oh, I could feel it in my bones. Have you ever seen a movie trailer and you instantly knew it was going to be the biggest pile of shit that ever existed? I knew it was going to be bad. I knew, I knew it was going to be bad. I did not know it was going to be catastrophically bad. Move over Sonic 06. Here comes Sonic the Hedgehog 2019. Gangster's Paradise? <laughs> Who picked that? Who, what executive at the meeting decided that was a song that went well with Sonic the Hedgehog? Cute childhood video game character, G Gangster's Paradise. <laughs> what were some of the other fucking choices for most disconnected song to use? Most out-of-touch music to put into your fucking video game trailer? Who Let the Dogs Out? Was that up there? Right next to Straight Outta Compton? When those design documents leaked, boy were they hitting the nail on the head. Irrelevant and sarcastic, heroic and adventurous, confident and competitive, chill and likable, mischievous but not malicious. He likes to get into a little bit of trouble, but nothing too severe, parents. <laughs> Bring your kids to the theater. What have they done to Sonic the Hedgehog? He looks like an anorexic rocket raccoon with half the CG budget. They got spray painted blue and they called it a day. They just threw him in there. Oh, and you've got all these extra characters nobody's ever heard of or gives a shit that's not related to the fucking game at all. We have to, we have to world craft here when we make a Sonic movie. People are looking for that realism. Better, better involve the military. You know, for when that hedgehog's running at the speed of fucking light. And who better to contact to get that nefarious little rodent than Ace Ventura Pet Detective? Beat for beat, you can watch this trailer and know the entire plot of the fucking movie. Even, even the post credit scene, which they put at the end of the trailer. They are not trying to hide a fucking thing from you. Sonic even says in the trailer, your planet. Basically, it looks like I'm going to have to save your planet. So he's an alien. He's a little blue intergalactic hedgehog that I guarantee showed up on Earth probably to collect. I'm guessing those rings are part of the ancient hedgehog civilization. And Dr. Dr. Robotnik, I'm sorry, Ace Ventura, is going to collect them to fuel his evil machine to turn birds into robots. Little alien shows up, doesn't understand the world, freaks out the military. Military hires Jim Carrey to track him down. Luckily, our gay sheriff from San Francisco is there to help him out. And in the end, they save the day, and they all enjoy a chili dog. I've been alive long enough to see the bodies pile up at the foot of Hollywood when it comes to video game crossover. They do not translate well. Mario Brothers, Resident Evil, Silent Hill. Every time we're promised, it's going to be good this time. It's going to be, it's going to be watchable. And it never, ever is. They're always garbage. They're always pure, unfettered horseshit because Hollywood is disconnected. They don't understand video games. They don't get it. They don't understand the appeal of the characters and they try to translate it into something that would have mass appeal. They, they want your mom and dad to go and sit in the theater and watch an anthropomorphic hedgehog talk about what it's, what it's like living in a gangster's paradise. And all it does is alienate people that played the video games and confuse people that don't understand why you're making a movie about a blue anthropomorphic hedgehog. And God help us if that little fucker for even a second takes his sneakers off. At any point in this movie, if Sonic gets barefoot for even a fraction of a millisecond, we will be overwhelmed with the amount of porn that will be generated just from DeviantArt. It will fill a landfill the size of Everest going down, miles deep full of nothing but foot porn of Sonic the Hedgehog. I hope that somebody working on this movie at least had the foresight to say, no, keep the sneakers on. We can lose the gloves for realism, but he cannot under any circumstances ever take his fucking shoes off. You don't understand this fan base. It is a mistake if he does that.